nets are only made from the finest composite materials. No, no. I, Kevin C. Cucumber, head of the Jelly Spotters, use only the finest jellyfishing nets. Next question. Oh my gosh, it's my other hero! Kevin C. Cucumber, head of the Jelly Spotters. It's only the most premier jellyfish enthusiast club. Now's my chance to talk to him. Hi, Kevin. What do you want? Hi, Kevin. I said, what do you want, kid? Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Okay, cut it out or I'll call security. Could I become a member of the Jelly Spotters? <laughs> a twerp like you could never become a Jelly Spotter. Why not? Well, for starters, I bet you couldn't catch a jellyfish even if it swam right into those ridiculous pants of yours. <laughs> I'll have you know that I'm an expert jellyfisher. Yeah, sure. What makes you think you're an expert? Well, once I caught the famed King Jelly. <laughs> That's a riot. Next thing you're going to tell me is that you live in a big pineapple, right? <laughs> well, uh... Well, where is it then? I released it back into jellyfish fields. Okay, then I tell you what, kid. If you can catch the King Jelly again, I'll let you become a member of the Jelly Spotters, and I'll even throw in a free tube of Kevin C. Cucumber's Sting Protection Ointment.
here he is. It, it can't be. Nidaria Rex, the King Jelly. Can I be a member now? Uh, I, I, I guess so. Here, take this. Hey, Kevin. Now that I'm a fellow Jelly Spotter, I want to ask you to be in a TV show I'm casting. So let me get this straight. Now that you've ruined my reputation and defamed me, you want me to be on TV? You bet! Well, that makes just about as much sense as everything else around here. I'm in! I want to get in a quick round of jellyfishing and then I'll be off to the set. Good afternoon, Bikini Bottom! This is Mac Mackerel coming to you live from the convention center in downtown Bikini Bottom, hoping to catch first-hand coverage of the big unveiling. That's right, the largest pearl to ever be recovered from the ocean floor is making its first public appearance right here in Bikini Bottom. What's that? I'm sorry, we seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties right now. Please excuse us for this uh, broadcast delay. Our technicians will be working to fix the problem. Hi, what's going on today? Today was supposed to be the big showing of the ocean's largest pearl. But we just got word that its delivery has been delayed. To make things even worse, our camera guy brought the wrong equipment, so we can't continue filming here anyway. What's wrong with the equipment that your camera guy brought? The power supply he brought is run with a solar-powered collector. What's wrong with solar power? Nothing, except we're indoors right now, aren't we? Ah, and there's no sun indoors, yeah! What happened to the pearl? We're getting mixed reports, but one thing is for sure. Without a really large pearl to show off, I have no story. Sorry, kid. I don't have time to talk. I need to get my hands on a huge pearl soon, or my career as a reporter is over. <gasps> it's the harpoon from Jellyfish the Movie! doing with all this equipment? I'm attempting to begin a comprehensive study on the migration patterns of the amazing life form known as the jellyfish. Really? I just love jellyfishology. Yes, well, that's all well and good, but uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough power to supply to my various instruments and devices. Without their calculations, I cannot complete my study. What's wrong with your power supply? I only have one battery to run all of this equipment, and it doesn't have enough power. I should have brought a solar-powered energy collector. The sun is shining so bright today that it would certainly be enough to run all of my equipment at maximum efficiency. Can you tell me anything interesting about jellyfish? Certainly, although it may shock you. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to hear about jellyfish. Well, most people see the jellyfish as a mindless blob of goo that drifts through its life with no purpose. However, I have discovered that they are actually a superior alien race whose plan is to boldly go where no jellyfish has gone before. And they pick Bikini Bottom? Well, my studies have found that they are searching for a mysterious portal that leads to another realm. According to my calculations, the portal should be right here, somewhere in the jellyfish fields. How is your research going? Horrible. Without a decent power source like the sun, I can't continue my research. a more majestic creature than a wild oyster. I bet they won't mind if I take a little jelly. Ah! 
I never noticed this cave before. about jumping headfirst into a gigantic, swirling purple vortex. Seahorse to water, but you can't make it swim. Even though you can find it all over the ocean floor, there's definitely something special about this pile of sand. all that nonsense about staying away from wild berries. I'm not quite sure what those things are, and I don't think I should get close enough to find out. Wow, a fire pit! This is what the fry cooks of old used. Well, hello there. Booyah! <laughs> Look just like my best buddy Patrick, except you're a little bit, well, hairier. Wow, you sound a lot like him too. What you doing out here? Well, silly, that's because you should cook your food before you eat it. It doesn't look like you have a fry grill anywhere close around here, so we'll have to come up with something a bit more primitive. I know, I know! You're hungry for some nice cooked food! I better find this guy something to cook with fast! There's no telling what he'll pop in his mouth next. make it a rule to steer clear of any massive steaming lakes of goo that I come across out here. Is there a more majestic creature than a wild oyster? I think not! Maybe this little fella could use a little extra sand for his bed. Probably shouldn't disturb it anymore. It's all clammed up now, anyway. Hey, I. I could swear that I've been here before. 
Maybe someone who lives around here can tell me where I am. Looks like jellyfishing has always been popular. Meow. 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 Hi there. I'm sort of lost. Would you mind? What's that you say? I see. You're tired of eating seaweed and want some jelly ice cream instead. Of course I can understand you. Ice cream is the universal language. I'll be back as soon as I can find some. Got it. Jelly ice cream. Sheesh, that guy has one sweet tooth. Hmm. Come to think of it, he only has one tooth. Is this postmodernism or just a fin painting? Now who would go and leave two perfectly good sticks just lying around? Are you okay? I haven't seen anyone get stung like that since the great jelly scare of 47. Squawk! Ah! Nah! You should really get some sting protection ointment on those welts. Squawk! Ah! Nah! There's no need to get excited. I'll get you some. That's a lovely self-portrait. It must have taken days to chisel it. Ah! 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 Squawk! That's right. You need something to help with those webs. Until then, you should just remain cowering in the corner like that. It worked! You're as good as new! I must say that you're looking a lot less creepy now. What a cultured art lover like yourself like to conquer the art form of acting. Hey, squawk! No, no, no giant jellyfish will be allowed on the set. Squawk! You'll do it? Wonderful! Hey, squawk! Okay, see you on the set! to work just like it does in the movies. There you go. Now you can eat some decent grub. You can cook the grubs into a grub that you can grub on. <laughs> now that your tummy feels better, would you mind if I signed you up to be in a TV show I'm helping to put together? We got my dog. Of course, there will be free food. We have catering. We got my dog. Great. I'll see you soon.
uh, thing you have there? Is it for making really big sand castles? No, it's a metal detector that I use for finding buried treasure. But it's really not much good for anything right now. What's wrong with it? The problem is that its battery is dead, so it doesn't work anymore. It's not fair. I was so close! Ooh, have you found any treasure? No, but I know that I'm close to the greatest treasure in all the sea. What treasure is that? Why, the lost treasure of the infamous Flying Dutchman, of course! Legend has it, he buried his treasure right here on this beach. All I have to do is find it. Whoa, great story. I'll say, too bad this darn metal detector is useless now. I wish I had a new battery for this darn thing. Hey, Larry. How's your workout going today? Hey, SpongeBob. My workout was turning out truly righteous today. My pecs were almost bursting out of my shell. But then the worst thing happened. Oh, no! What? Well, I was over at the Pincher Press, and I was using some pretty gnarly weight. During my last set, I slipped and overextended my thorax. Now I can't even finish my workout. Can I do anything to help? I need some fast energy to make sure I don't pull any more of my muscles. The juice bar makes a great drink with wild berries that really works great. But... But what? Can't you just get some of this wild berry energy drink from the juice bar? I would, but they're out of the wild berries. Maybe you should take it easy for the rest of the day. No way, little buddy. A lifeguard has to stay in perfect shape. I mean, people's lives are at stake, dude. Dude, I could really use an energy drink boost right about now. No thanks. I already got my workout in earlier today. I need a wild berry energy drink. You mean a crustacean cooler? Yeah, sure, that's it. Well, we're out of wild berries, and I don't have the recipe anymore, either. What did you do with the recipe? I gave it to some guy with two hands. He's a bouncer at some place, supposed to be really tough. If you can bring me the wild berries and the recipe together, I'll make you some crustacean cooler. If you can bring me the wild berries and the recipe together, I'll make you some crustacean cooler. I really need to learn how to swim. Oh well, at least I can catch some nice rays. I'll just head in there and slip into my bathing suit. Hey, hurry up. Just a minute, please. There's other people out here waiting, you know. I said just a minute! All right, that's it. If you aren't coming out, then we're coming in. This place oozes evil.
places for weenies. I want to go to the Salty Spittoon. Hi. Welcome to the Salty Spittoon. How tough are you? I'm uh, really tough, so uh, I guess I'll be going in. Only, of course, if you say it's okay, sir. But, uh, sirs. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry, kid, but I've seen grandmothers that are tougher than you. Yeah, me too. Shut up, you. What makes you so tough? Um, well, I... Never mind that, dummy. Take this recipe, kid. It tells you how to make crustacean cooler. Yeah, it can even make a weenie like you pretty tough. Now can I go in? No way. Yeah, a kid like you belongs next door. Weenie Hut Juniors. Weenie Hut Juniors? I was wondering if a couple of tough guys like yourselves want to be in a new action-packed TV show. Is it a tough show? Chock full of action and toughness. Hey, then we're in. Awesome. Two actors for the price of one. Bye. I... <laughs> This show better not be for weed. Yeah, us tough guys have a reputation for a hole. Hey, Marvin! How's it going? Glad you finally made it here, SpongeBob. What do you mean, finally? I mean that you finally admitted to your weeniness. But I'm not a weenie! But you are here at Weenie Hut Juniors. I'm here on business. Well then, why do you hang out here? I have learned to embrace myself as a weenie, and I'm not ashamed anymore. Believe me, you'll be a lot happier when you freely admit that you are one too. But I'm not a weenie! What's the best thing to have here? The jellyfish jelly ice cream is the best, but they're all out of jellyfish jelly. But they still have plain ice cream. Uh, just ask the guy at the counter and he'll give you some. Do you want to be in the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy TV show? Um, that depends. On what? Is the show based on the challenge of the League of Super Acquaintances or the later and definitely less cool Mermaid Man and his finny friends adventure hour? I don't know, but I bet Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy will sign an autograph for you if you do it. Oh boy, I'm in. <laughs> I can't wait to meet Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Ooh, can I have some ice cream? Coming right up. Here you go, weenie. But I'm not a weenie! Weenie. But I'm not a weenie! Weenie. But I'm not a weenie! Okay, one crustacean cooler coming right up. Here you go. I'm busy here, kid. I'm busy here, kid. Here, take a slug of this. Whoa! Awesome! SpongeBob, I am totally back in shape and ready to work out again. Hey Larry, I know lifeguarding is really important, but would you be interested in being on a TV show? Is it a show about lifeguarding? Well, it is a show about heroes. Count me in then, as long as I can work out between takes. <laughs> Just one more set and I'll be ready for the show.
Wow, that little guy sure grew up. That is one huge oyster. I wonder if it remembers me. Splash! Great! I dub the Clamu! It's about time you showed up! Yeah, yeah, I like it! Now get out of here and get to work! You're beautiful! No need to stir the great Clamu. A performer of his uh, size shouldn't be rushed. have a bit of a brain freeze right now, but would you like to be in a TV show? <laughs> Glad to hear it! Mr. Hammerstein is sure gonna be happy about this. Sponsor! <laughs> Ahoy there, fellow cast members! for it. When your report is over, do you think you might be interested in appearing in the new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy TV show? Well, I am great on camera, but I'm still a journalist at heart. Hey, maybe you could do an investigative report about what it's like to be on a hit TV show. Yeah, yeah. Documentaries are huge these days. Count me in. <laughs> I'll be down on the set just as soon as I finish my report. Will this contraption help out with your power problems? Hmm, why yes, it most certainly will. Once I connect the solar collector to my devices, they will begin functioning properly again. I can't thank you enough for your help, but here, take this battery. Although it was not enough to power my equipment, it may still be of use to you. Wow, thanks! I know you're very busy, but I'm casting a TV show called The New Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, and I would like you to be in it. Can I bring some jellyfish on the show? Sure, every good superhero show has some aliens in it somewhere. 
I'm just finishing my studies, and then I'll be off to the set. Will this battery get your metal detector working again? Hmm. Yeah, I think it will work. Now just give me a moment. Aha! I've got something! That's it? One measly coin and some dumb piece of paper? I knew I should have listened to me mother. She told me to stay in school and become a doctor. But no, I had to go off and become a treasure hunter. What a waste. Here's your share, kid. Wow, thanks. I guess. Now that you found the treasure you were searching for, would you like to be in a TV show? Sure. I gotta pay the bills somehow. Great. See you on the set. I'll just take an extra look around in case I miss the real treasure. And then I'm off to the set. <laughs> <laughs>